Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I'm really excited to show you this video. Our RV is a 2001 Class C and everything inside when we purchased it was pretty much original to that year, including this yellow grimy air conditioning cover. So today we're gonna show you how to clean it. Luke's mom found an awesome recipe <laughs> online and by the end of this video, this thing is gonna be so clean. Keep your eyes peeled. So the first thing you want to do is gather all your pieces and put them in the tub or wherever you want to put them and wash them off. Mom got some Comet cleaner to spray them down and then we're going to add some hot water and we're going to let that soak for just a bit and then we're going to do a heavy scrubbing. Next you just want to take the parts out, dry them off really well, make sure you get into all the little holes and get started. Today we were already working on removing the old screen and putting in the pet resistant screen that we purchased at Lowe's so we decided to go ahead and try this recipe out on the door as well. Secret time, the answer to getting all of your covers and doors back to their original glory is hair developer, cling wrap, and a little bit of sun. We brushed on the hair developer, we used a high level on the doors, I think it was 30 or 40, and then we just covered it with cling wrap and I believe this has been on for about 25 minutes. You can see the before under here very yellow and it's already coming out really nice. Now mom is just mixing up what she has left which is 25, 30, and 10. We're probably gonna have to leave this batch on a little longer but it's still more affordable than going out and buying new covers. It just takes a little elbow grease and patience. This now white paneling on the door used to be the same color as the air conditioner cover, so I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. Mom and Luke are making sure the pieces are covered really well. You do not want to get this on anything else but your target piece. Plus the airtight bagging keeps the heat locked in and it keeps it from drying out, which is really important. Ready for the fun part? Let's look at the before, yellow, very stained. I'm pretty sure the previous owner smoked heavily in here. And now the after. Wow, what a difference. I am so happy with this. Since we were working with a lower developer this time, we left it on until it looked about the same color as the other side, which I believe took an hour. And now it's time to start cleaning it up. Right here where mom is touching was all of that staining. And we scrubbed that pretty well with heavy cleaner to no avail, but an hour of hair developer did the trick. Thank you so much for taking the time to do all this research and help us out with this mom. We really appreciate you. Before we put the air conditioner cover back in, I'm gonna clean all this area. Look how dirty that is, oh my gosh. All right, I still haven't purchased any super clean, so I'm gonna be using the green mean, I, me, I don't know what this is called, but I'm gonna use that, and I've put a little bit of water on this magic eraser, and then we're just gonna get to town, or we're just gonna get to work. Ooh. Hey, Mom. Tell her she can come in. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but <laughs> this is after I've cleaned it, and this is what it looked like before. Wow. Mom did an absolutely wonderful job on these. They look so great. Just finished washing them off and drying them and I had to pull the foam out that was right here. It was really old and it was degrading. And I have these magic erasers 
And I figured I'd just cut them up and put them to replace the old foam. And then we'll get it up. So we got some of this window and door seal foam. And we're going and sticking it here to help. Because the way these ACs work is it sucks in through one side and blows through the other. But if you have a draft, it's going to start circulating and feeding itself. And that just is no good. So using these to create an air barrier. It had some, but it just was falling apart not any good anymore so it's trying to improve on its function a little bit so the mounting holes for the cover were all stripped out and they just screw into the wood and styrofoam only so what i'm going to do is i drill them out a little oversized and i'm going to put these sheetrock anchors in but i'm going to put liquid nails in too so it'll lock them in really good We are nearing the end of the video. We'll show you a quick before and after, and I hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hope you found this video informative, and let me know if you've ever heard of this recipe before or if maybe you've tried it yourself. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.